And so here we are aboard the celestial being. And garden, it's easy, says Mr. Zinnerman. It's got almost perfect stealth. It's brilliant. It's the perfect place for anti neo Zeon operations and uh, for keeping Minerva safe. And I mean, also, it's got Vader, but there's Minerva hanging out. And here's Tifa trying to talk to Vader because it worked at Dome, but she can't manage it. Looks like Chrono's secrets will have to be discovered the old fashioned way by beating it out of a doo doo nose. Um, Parla says uh, that Vader might actually be withholding the info on purpose as a sort of lesson. And he's like, no way! And then Chera's like, actually, that might be right. Some sort of trial to prove that we're good as hell. If we take down Chrono and restore mankind's right to evolve, like, that's pretty much the area's sworn mission, so maybe that'll unlock it. Nice work. And Tifa is glad to help. The Innovate and the Innovator. And here we are, Ian is like, wow, hell yeah, I've upgraded all the shit. Zabanya, Harute with um, Astanaj, they've all, yeah, hell yeah, we've upgraded everything. Howdy, hell yeah, Linda did it too. Ooh, yeah. Everybody's getting upgrades. Everybody's Gundam's getting an upgrade, even the colony boys, except the Wing Zero. The, um, the core of the Wing Zero remains even beyond the, like, beyond the scientific reach of even these ultra geniuses and the Kuya, I guess, but. Yeah, it sucks. Even uh, Graham and Patrick's um, mechs are going to get pseudo GN drives thanks to Lady Un's latest um, thing. And it's the first step into a wider um, era of GN usage. And Takuya is like, oh yeah, you know what, kid? You're pretty good, enthusiastic, and clever at coming up with neat improvements to the robots. <laughs> Takuya, real good. Takuya, real good. And Banaji's still the same dude, down to earth dude as ever. Still calling Minerva Audrey all the time. So Banaji's like, yep, come on, here's Minerva, hello. And um, Audrey. Audrey. So, Banaji and Minerva have a little chat and. Like, they both know that she can't stay as a member of ZetBlue forever. The time is fast approaching when she's going to have to stand up and help liberate Neo Zeon from his current tyranny. <laughs> and then the manager's like, oh, go, go ahead. You know what? Sorry. It's right. so like, it's fine, you can call me Audrey. She doesn't care. He knows he's ill. Um, but yeah, the Unicorn will have a pivotal role to play in doing all that. And uh, Shah. Uh, yeah, Minerva, like Shah, trusts Banaji to decide whether to reveal the pluses box, whatever's in it. And um, Banaji himself can't really imagine what um, power could overturn the Federation. But his former determination to keep it hidden, given how many people uh, have killed to get close to it, has given way to a more honest appraisal of what might contribute to the truth. He's going to see uh, the box open once side drill is out. And that's his current plan. And uh, Audrey can wait that long too. So if it all works out. No, Dr. J's dead, they, those guys all fucking died. They ultra blew up. My dad and the Gooza. Loads of people fucking died. And his Shah hanging out in Armour's bedroom, as they are often want to do. Because they've heard of Banaji and uh, um, Audrey's little conversation, so they're having a little visit. And Shara's never really cared much about the box. He's never cared about uh, its ties to Chrono, much heed when he was at the seat of Neo Zeon. And uh, full frontal, he's just fucking just like, you want some coffee, dude? He's fucking jokers. Um, 
Yeah, but Full Frontal uh, Pursuit of the Box was an entirely private matter when he was in charge. But, with Dome and uh, Vader both not saying anything about Chrono, the box might be the only clue we've got left. And Shah has become worried about what's driving Frontal. And why he's so obsessed with the box. His uh, assessment of the man is uh, as an alternative universe version of himself has made him intensely curious about what he's thinking, especially because uh, his thoughts have seemingly diverged uh, considerably from uh, what Frontal's actually like doing in his actions. And Armro's like, that sounds pretty dangerous to me, dude. I don't think you want to stare too hard into the abyss, my man. Um, but... The alarms. Dang it, so this will be getting attacked. Piss. And then everyone's that blue. Neo Zeon have discovered us, even though we're ultra invisible. What the heck? Neo Zeon. Did they want to hear it about them? Yeah, like they ultra blew themselves up. And here we go. Uchu no Kami, the god of space. Get me to our jokers. How did they find Celestial Being? It's like, alright, we'll stay back. Thanks, what are you thinking about me? No, it's alright, I'm fine, don't worry. Cool, hell yeah, you're definitely not gonna die. So, uh, even if Celestial Being has great stealth, the people coming and going leave uh, traces, and pre presumably Neo Zeon want to fight us, so, you know. And Shah's teaming up with Camille, and it's certainly not by accident. Do you think we got a spy? Nah, they just probably just saw us go in and out, you know what they're like. But we had a power up, so everyone's real rowdy. Yeah, everyone's talking about their bullshit. There's Yune, there's Resin, no one cares. Shah has the ball. So, Camille and the uh, Shah are, are together. Because the big deal is Gunye. Shah feels that, he, like he says, Kess not to worry because he can no longer let Gunye go on fighting only according to his personal emotions. It's time for that boy to grow up. He's like, shut up, Shah, I you too, Camille. No, Alright, dude, let's go. And the SR point is defeat all enemies in three turns, shooting down at the Yagda Doga for last, so Gunye last. And secret. Um, Use the Convince Command on Gune with Camille and or Kess, for sure. I mean, we're getting it anyway, but why not? And uh, clear the stage with Gune is a thing. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Actually, right, so I don't know if we could do that and get the the thing. I thought it's a cycle you should have lock it up. I don't understand that at all. Right, so who says what this stage we got? Dilo, Tro, Wufei, Quattro, Zex, Lockon, Tom, Thierry, Graham, Patrick, and then Dudes vs. Gune, Dudes yelling at Gune, no one convincing Gune. But, uh, where's the dude? Uh, these guys got a new move? The GN missile. Uh, these guys have got the same, I believe. GN missile. I don't think anybody else got any new moves. This dude doesn't yet. Yeah, this dude also hasn't got any new moves.
And then, um, it's somewhere. Amazing! The unit's maneuverability is on a wholly different level now. Let's go, Mary. It's up to us to draw out all of the Harut's powers. Then, hallelujah. Hold it right there, hallelujah. Does that us include me? Of course it does, hallelujah. Ha! <laughs> Just hearing that's getting me raring to go. Let's do this thing! Right. Our skills as the true super soldier will still uh, steer the Harute into battle. And then, let me show you folks how the power up Zabanya does battle. Lock on, motivated, lock on, motivated. Target lock, target lock. Here we go, lock on Stratos, Gundam Zabanya. Random fire. See, look, he's got new shit on his shoulders. All of the shit. All the shit, all the time, just fucking endless disco balls. So, this is the Um, like I gotta get up and go shopping tomorrow morning, but I mean, I've still got like the normal uh, hour to go in me. We have to see how I'll get into the stage. And all the wing boys say stupid shit if they're in their robots, like, oh yeah, we got an upgrade, incredible, amazing. I don't even think Poggy gets a new attack. Yeah, I don't think any of the wing boys get a new move. They just get more numbers, yeah, they just get more numbers, which is fine. Nice. It's quite an upgrade. I make good use of this extra firepower. All in the name of ending this uh, conflict as soon as possible. Thanks a bunch, Ian. This is great. Time to get to work, partner. We'll force these warmongers to open their eyes. I don't know. Oh, going to come up. How my new computer in? Uh, Boulder is gonna uh, finish putting it together and check everything over today, and then now that no, I guess it's just gotta get to me. Thread combination one. Shining edge two. Actually, it's flash edge two, right? That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, so Zex would be all like, uh, Trace, my friend. Even now, the tool you see left behind is with me. He's with this gallant white steel that I shall gallop across the universe as I win the way the flames of your Calm down.
chant, Rocky's like, oh yeah, let's end war, the universe wants peace, thanks. Bufe yells about the double-headed dragon, you know what he's like. オレたちが新しい時代を作る。見る前に体が動く。ネオジオンのモビルスーツか。ヘルヘイム。シュート。Get 60 FPS or anything? Oh, it won't because it won't steal. It's not how that works. I'm doing it through the PS3 anyway. Why? Why have a gun if you're the missile guy? Why even bother? Fuck. Oh, I just learned soul. I also learned soul. Satan box, there you go. So, I'm a gov to gov. Say, yeah, still them for that all the time. Tweaked new animations for stuff, couple of new moves for a couple of the double O boys. Take your story, what else? Continuity, lock on. ゼオンの魂は必ずやうてつがれる。ゼオンさんを奪った。何でもには俺も恨みがある。僕らを軽視しているだけだね。あ、チューズ。ちょっとずりと後悔しやがれ。外すものか。だから、いったね、上のプライ
Where's the, where's the other lady? She's down here, right? Okay, well, um, for the secret, um, oh, with Camille and or Kess, but you can't do it with Kess once you've done it with Camille. Alright, sure, that's fine, that's fine, we did it, we, we did it, we did the thing, we're good. We're good. Where's, where's the dipshit? Here's the dipshit. Grand Zam! So, we gotta put an end to this war, which means I have to get used to using the Trans Am. And then the Colonel will just shout and we will praise. Stuff like, oh Patrick, you were great. Stuff like that. Patrick, oh Patrick, you were great. You're amazing, Patrick. But Patrick's got a Trans Am, and so is uh, Graham now. That's where Patrick, you did it. You just fucking clowned on that guy, and now he's dead. Then. I'm in your death. Uh, I'm in your debt category, and I promise to I'll make full use of the upgrades you've given to my brave. Battle battles will continue until the moment victory lies in our hands. Such is my duty. All right, Graham, calm down. さあ、さあ、Oh, it was good, turns out. Yeah, I know. Turns out the dude who's got extreme, the ultimate perfection, is good. Weird. Fucking hits the fella. He sucks. Um, out of my way, Kess. I won't, Gune. You once said you'd keep me safe, right? Well, this time I'll do that for you. This battle goes on. You're gonna die. Even so, I. It's not like you, Gune. If you can't even give me a good answer, then you best get out of that unit. Well, Gune, he's trying the even so, but it. It don't work the same. He's not the main character. So she talks to Gune because he's Camille's friend, I guess, but 
can't stand to see you like this anymore. Shut up, Shin. <laughs> I do like Shin that goes, I was like you once. Stupid and shitty. Now I'm, now I'm stupid and shitty with the good boys. So come on. Look at this guy, can't even fucking murder two dudes. In a fucking double large robot with the big move, can't even murder a guy. Trash. Hello, Knight. Powerful Knight. Fuck it up, because I want to see the missiles, alright? But her move is really wrong, and she's pretty strong too, so... Look at this shit! Full of this! On his waist, chest, knees, everywhere. Okay. How can I be the heck out of you? Microwave! Come on! Swing Satellite! 
This happen to me. It's almost as if I don't matter. Your resin is like, no, I'm out. It's just Neo Zero, I'm good. Like, All right, lady. That lady, what's up with her? Don't worry, we'll sort her out. Damn it, Shah. Dang it, Shah. This Joker, uh, the GN big cannon's output uh, is greatly increased. No enemy is too strong with this. I'll fight on until the moment my mission is fulfilled, and I'll do so hand in hand with my comrades. All right, Terror, calm down. Mm -hmm. Mm Alright, alright, no one fucking attack him anymore, right? 
he's, he can't be attacked. He's got to fight Kevin and Char a couple of times, alright? Face me, Camille. Shah Reznable. Enough, Gune. We just want to talk to you. Give it up. Oh, okay, no, um, yeah, so I'm going to do this, Camille, Shah. Um, we can see the doubt you're carrying, Gune. If you're going to fight like that, then we'll make you stop, and we've, uh, we've all said our pieces. Now, Gune, we'll have to force you to stand down. So there's the the other conversation where Shah is like getting close to Camille. <laughs> Make him listen. He must use force. Okay, we're not going to get that one. There we go. Cool. Poor Lune. Reader also talks to him and is like, if you actually believed what you were saying, that'd be one thing, but you don't, and I don't want to fight someone as pathetic as you right now. It's like, nah, we're supposed to be done. But we did it. Ugh! Not in my I'm not done yet! I'm like, damn it, Gune, frontals are shit. And he's like, no, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna change Neo Zeon from within. And Shrine's like, Gune, you can't. Zeon's a fucked up, broken system. You can't, you gotta break with it, the whole thing. He's like, no, you're talking shit. Xeon is the hope of uh, mankind as they strive to colonize the void of space. And he says, Xeon might as well uh, be the name of uh, the god of space. And Gune uh, dares Shah to tell its faithful um, to cast it away. And then Shah hesitates. And then um, Kumil is like, well, alright, here we go then. He says, uh, Shah more than anyone else has demonstrated by his actions what it means to shoulder all of mankind's burdens and fight on, regardless of Earthnoid or Spacenoid. Camille, you... And... He tells Gune to stop living in Shah's shadow, and if he really cares about mankind, he should save it with his own strength. And then Kess tells him to prove that he's the bigger man here, if he is indeed a man at all. And then he's like, Don't oh, shut up, Camille! And then Camille's like, Alright, dude! If you can't overcome your issues on this one... Boing! Camille! And it's like Zeta. Power is like, this is... And he's like, that's right, you know, this is the, the power of space. Space is filled with the souls of people. C Camille! Camille is so sad and he's like the time for you who insists on wasting your life living only according to your emotions to learn what that really means <laughs> here I come Gune let me your power everybody Fucking blammo. Got a good dynamic kill as well. Gunye runs off. It's like, Camille, Gunye. He's like, it's fine. I can only hope that it will never come and fight us ever again. And that's for sure, the um, god he believes in is progress, and the possibility of mankind to change their environment and their own future. And he's pained that, and then internally he's like, I'm sorry, Gunye, that my own indecision, indecision has tormented you so. And he's determined uh, that this battle will be different. And then here comes Angelo and his fucking nerds.
That's because Kamil doesn't regret all his life choices. He's made lots of good decisions, like saving four. So Angelo shows up and he sucks. Good friggin' Gune. Who, who would have guessed that a garbage man would have fucked up? He's bad. Anyway, I'm good and I'll show all of you. And then Shara uh, asks Camille to follow his lead in uh, focusing fire on the, the purple fella who sucks. And uh, he sees how much blind faith that Angelo has in full frontal. Um, that even Shara has to wonder if he can beat his mask wing counterpart. But I mean, you know. He can, because he's the good boy. And there's the plane crash wave, the rider crashed. We got it. And anyone can use it. As long as you're new type level 6, which is, you know, really easy to do. So, anyone can do it and yell about fucking ghosts and shit. Uh, the last full Metal Panic stage uh, is we defended, uh, like we went on Marina Island, Leonard wasn't there and it turns out that he's moved his Tartarus system, not just the Talos system, the Tartarus system, he's moved it to uh, Neo Tokyo uh, 3, where Shinji's bullshit happened, and he's like, yeah, I can do that, and he's just done it. And they called up everybody, and the first, um, and this is the, the first Gundam stage. So you're doing alright. But Kamil's got his plane crash back. Angelo just doesn't want to fucking talk to me. He talks to Banaji, Marida, Shah, Ricky, and another fella. Yeah, he was. Gunye was being stupid. He's like, alright, dude, I'm gonna make you fucking listen by crashing the plane into you. For the power of the soul side of the machine. Everyone, lend me your strength. Oh, nice barrier, everyone. Because I'm about to crash a fucking plane into you. No, why are you so strong? So, be out this guy. And so, Angelo's talking shit about how good his Rosa Zulu is, but still it's like, this dude, he is obsessed with Full Frontal. What's up with this dude? He's as bad as Gune. He's even worse than Gune. But then he gets his shit kicked in. Look who it is! Gune Gus, what are you? And he's like, well, I mean... Funnels are pretty good, right? Kisama! He's like, anyway. Angelo, you're full of shit. You betrayed the OZ, and it's like, no, Zeon, uh, you betrayed them first by full frontal working with side drill. Fuck you. Attaboy, Gunye. And don't think Camille's what changed my mind either. This guy, what's his? Can't mention, it's fine. Gunye, Gus. Neo Zeon will do without you. He's like, yeah, well, humans are good and full frontal sucks. So let's go, Angelo. You're a piece of shit. So here's Gunye, he's our buddy. Zet chips for finishing the stage with him alive. Oh, 
この一撃で終わりにさせてもらおう And you know, this bonus is he cast the sense every turn. Which is alright, I guess, but. Now, Sarah Gion will say, Call Stat or Day. Call of Hanel Day. Oh, yeah, and Kurtz isn't dead. He didn't die. He was alright. As expected. And everybody, all the double O boys have got new shit. Like, everybody has had a power up, either a new move or. Just a stat up for the wing and double O boys. Does Kurt actually die in the show manga? Nope. But um, he dies in front. We get shot in the bowels, but he doesn't die in the um. Uh, but uh, sacks the in the engineer, the mechanic guy on board the two hundred and he died, and um, Al now has emotions and is basically a human being. Listen, jokes are gotta be fun. It's the number one rule of joke. Sometimes just lying about a thing is a joke, but not always. Do do do. 